Hi, welcome to Keep It Simple. And today we got an interesting question that we're going to dive into. So we'll be right back with that question. Welcome back to Keeping It Simple, a ministry from Calvary Chapel Bike Church in Watsonville, California, where we try to answer questions about the Bible using the Bible. And today's question is, uh, what does the Bible say about dancing or to the Christian dance? But I think it's a little bit deeper than that. It's not should we dance, it's how should a Christian dance. Then in the Bible we see both types. We see the good type and the bad type of dancing. We see them dance to celebrate victories that the Lord gave them. We see them dancing to praise and to show praise to God as, a, as praise. We also see that that sometimes they're dancing to, to arouse themselves when they're worshiping false gods. So, you know, we got to look, look at that. We can't just say, or oh, dancing by itself is sinful. And some people say, or oh, we could say all oh, dancing is okay. No, there's um, time to dance. And there's a type, and there's a certain type of dances that we shouldn't do. Now, they're not a quite a um, specific verse in the Bible that covers dancing that I see, but I do see um, this verse, and I'm going to put it up on the screen for you and that way you can read and study. It is 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. And I'll put that up on the screen for you. You can read it and pause it. Then we'll come back and discuss it. And as we see in that verse, it says, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. So, anything we do, it should be done for the glory of God. Everything, anything, even dancing. Um, is, is all dancing sinful? No, as we said earlier. But we could use dance as a way to praise and worship God. You know, as, as, as a way to show our happiness, our joy to the, to the Lord. I've been in churches where people learn to dance around when the worship music is going. And that's okay. You know, as long as it's done proper and done, you know, good, can proper and nice, but can dancing be done the wrong way? Yes. When you're dancing and you're um, bringing attention to yourself or, or attention to your body or you're dancing in, in a weird way, you know, then that'll be wrong. But can a Christian dance? Yeah. Um, can a Christian, if he wanted to go break dance in the snow, can he do that? Sure. As long as it's you know, you're doing it out of joy and you're doing it because you're praising God. Now, as we read earlier, we need we do all things to, for the glory of God. But 
that doesn't mean that you can say, well, I, I, I would do this for the glory of God. And it's something that is not glorifying God. I remember years ago, I read in some magazines, or actually heard it on, the, on TV, on Christian TV, that, that there were some belly dancers that said that they were belly dancing for the glory of God. I was seeing that uh, some so-called Christian women will go strip for the glory of God. I don't think that is the type of dance that God will accept. Because again, you know, we need to turn away from our flesh. Anything that that arouses the flesh that can lead to sin is not good. But there are some type of dances that are, are good. I pointed out a few, you know, that when David danced, because the art was coming back, uh, when the children of Israel danced and celebrated because of the victory over over in the, the Egyptians and, and they sang and danced, you know. Um, we went into a joyful moment like a wedding or maybe a birth of a child that we're giving glory to God. It's okay to dance, but they are, we gotta be dance in a way that that does not, is not erotic, you know. But at the same time, I have heard churches, you know, I have heard preachers in churches uh, say that when a Christian dance, they should not move so much, you know, you got to keep your bottom part nice and straight, you know. Uh, kind of like what Elvis <laughs> got in trouble for her when he first came on. Remember they were, they were they were complaining about him because he wiggled his hips so much. Now I'm not saying we do dance at Elvis, but I'm just saying that in the Bible it just says that if it's a erotic type of dance, that's wrong. But it doesn't really, beyond that, you know, we look at what did David do? He danced in his underwear. Not saying that we should do that, but, you know, that, that was his way of uh, expressing his, his happiness towards the Lord and worshiping Him. And what, I guess what, what I'm trying to say is, if we, we cannot dance like the world. You know, the world is all about, you know, sexual chemistry and trying to arouse each other. No. But we can't be stiff and just, you know, I mean, allow the Spirit, allow God to, to uh, work in you and, you know, be joyful. Dance, um, but let it be something that comes from the from the spirit, from from God's direction. And, and I know some churches and all oh, dancing, it's all bad. No, it's not all bad. We see in scripture there are times there are times to dance, and there's a time not to dance. But there's also a type a way to dance and a way not to dance. And uh, if your dancing is bringing um, attention to you and your body or your figure or whatever, then no. And uh, if your dancing is, is very uh, erotic towards the other partner, uh, no. 
But if you're dancing, it's joyful. You know, have you ever seen a little baby dance up and down? They're just happy and joyful. You know, we, that's the way we should be. Happy and joyful. And and dance and let it come out from our, from our heart. But again, as, as it says in the... Um, as it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 31, we need to do all that we do. We do it for the glory of God. So we can't forget about God and that. And there's the time, you know, that celebration, a wedding, uh, when your kid is born, uh, uh, you know, joyful times. It's okay to dance in a proper way. I think that's what the Bible is saying. It's okay to, to dance if you, if it's for worship, yeah, you could worship God. If it's for praise, you could, you're dancing, it's praise and worship. If it's a joyful time in your life, it's okay, you know, but in a proper way. My name is Marty Rodriguez. This has been Keeping It Simple. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, I'll go through these videos and do, try to answer questions about the Bible using the Bible <laughs> and allowing the Bible to, to speak because there's so much stuff out there that is not um, from the Bible. It's man's thoughts. And my prayer for you guys is to go find yourself a good Bible teaching church. Join it. Don't don't just go to it, but become part of it. Become a member of it. And serve that church. And make disciples. And allow yourself to become a disciple. And uh, if you're ever in this area of Wattsville, drop by and say hi to us here at Calvary Chapel Biker Church. So may the love of God shine on you, may He bless you, may He keep you for the rest of this week.